All right, so in the last video we learned how to do some height blends and how to blend between different textures with a more accurate blending. In this video, what, um, what I want to show you is the is the height blend so we can have like a automatic landscape. So how does this work? Well, essentially if if you just create any material here, let's say I want to put a color red here, something like that, and you can connect this one here. You will see that our actually our landscape will update and this kind of information is static when we paint our landscape then we won't accept the base uh, we won't change the base color so we can actually create materials here based on any logic we want so what i want to do is to create a different different type of blending so we're gonna use our grass one as our let's just say automatic material and then the rest will be you know manually painted so the way we're gonna do that is just to do a height blend so if we go to height lerp okay <coughs> actually you have the slope mask all right so these two nodes are one of the most important ones so let's check the slope mask so if I check the number here we can put like number three okay so I I'm sorry just delete this one I'm talking bullshit right now. <laughs> so let's click the V button and let's call our slope mask. And this one will work as our mask. So we will put the C because in the materials, X, Y, and C will mean like RGB. So our accepting the, uh, we want to have the the blue channel which is the C axis so we're gonna put it here and if we put it right here you will see that we have something like this is our slope mask so what we can do is actually blend the materials so let's do a lerp first if you hold L you will have a lerp so this will be our alpha okay and let's just say this is our V goes into V which is the white area and this will go into A and if we start previewing the node here uh, you can see how this one works all right and um, we can play with the settings later but for now let's just keep it simple so what we're gonna do is to use this mask to do some kind of landscape auto material so the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna instead of lerping these two colors we're gonna do a material blend and you can see simple or standard you can select the standard and what you can do is the base material will be this one and the top material will be this one and the alpha will be this one so now when you start previewing the node you can have something like this okay so this one will go into our grass okay this will be our automatic material okay and the rest of the notes will be let's just say the notes that we can paint so let's preview this let's click ok let's wait for the shader to compile Okay, let's just see. So what we're gonna do is to clear the layer and then 
fill the layer with this one. And you can see here I have my slope. You can see it here. And it's very it's, it's a very rough angle. So let's try to play with the values here. This our slope mask. We will go to our landscape here. And here we will play with the slope mask. So let's just say let's preview this area. And what we want to do is reduce the blue something something like that okay so now you can see it's changed so let's put like maybe 0 0.7 now you can start seeing something here especially here and this maybe 0 0.65 0 0.58 and look at that now we have some kind of automatic landscape and the good thing about this is that this is let's just say this is our grass one but this should be named like our automatic material the reason I won't rename it is because landscapes can go crazy if let's say we rename the this layer <laughs> you don't want to do that so this is our automatic landscape material so what else we can do with this okay uh, we can do a bunch of operations here but we will leave that to the next video right now just with this basic setup let's recap we create our slope mask very simple we use this mask to blend between two materials and then we use this layer blend to plug this blended material into the first layer let's just say if this is Photoshop you will have the first layer here and this will be our auto material and let's just say this is locked right you cannot you, you cannot paint on it and then you will have another layer on top which is our paint material which is something like this when you can paint whatever you want and this will overwrite of course this one but this one will be automatically generated which can be a good thing if you want to you know have something to start with so the next video we're gonna worry about the blending because right now our blending looks uh, a little bit strange and let's let's take a look at it so how how can we make it better